and welcome back to the channel and to another video and here we have the PS5 we always wanted, the matte black PS5. So if you don't know, these are the dark plates by D brand. I ordered these way back at the end of 2020 when they got announced and I've been patiently waiting to get my hands on them. So in this video, I'm going to go through the unboxing experience, the installation and how easy it was to get on and if I would recommend the purchase to you guys. So to get everything ready and set up, obviously I needed some extra spaces. The PS5 is absolutely massive. So that does mean that the dark plates are also quite large. So in terms of actually getting my hands on these, I did order them way back in 2020 and they have been on back order pretty much since then. But they have come from America and the actual unboxing experience was really, really impressive. As you can see here, you get this incredibly detailed casing all the way from D brand. And this is my first D brand product. Uh, I've never ordered anything from them before. So this was an actually really nice unboxing experience. It's almost like a matte feeling box and really high premium, which is great because obviously I'll be putting the original plates back in here for safekeeping. What was quite nice as well, you get a couple of microfiber cloths here. So one saying D brand and the other with a little, I think it's a Game Boy that they've kind of replicated on here as well. So really handy for when we're cleaning up the PS5 to put the plates on. So they're really well protected. They've got all the foam, which we will use later. And as you can see here, they are truly matte black. So they're absolutely perfect finish for the PS5. I've got the disc version. You can also get these as a digital version. Now, one of the things that we all love about the PS5 is the tiny little inscriptions of the PlayStation logo. So D brand to not get sued have had to come up with their own genius idea here of putting in little scriptures, but they're completely different to the ones from Sony. So we have the plates, they're really nice, they feel really, really premium, they feel exactly what you should do. They are quite expensive, but once we get it on, obviously as you've seen, it's definitely worth it. So you can also order these with a sticker to go along with the glossy black section of the PS5. And as I think a few people have complained, it gets very dusty and scratches very easily. So I went with a quite a unique one here, which is the same as on the box. I think it looks really, really cool. So let's get the PS5 ready. So it felt like going into surgery, getting the PS5 ready here. So we've got the foam, it all perfectly fits. And one thing I totally forgot as my PS5 has been standing for all the time that I've had it, was actually completely forgot how to get this off, uh, which I know was Sony's own instructional video, but get a coin, you can get this off nice and simple. And once you've got it off, it is actually quite interesting how to get these plates off. You do have to be a little bit brave. So I kind of had to play around with it and this has been sped up slightly because uh, I did do it wrong the first time. I just couldn't get it off, but you do just have to have that little bit of grut and push that thing off. So you can hear, see here that it just clicks off. And once you do have it off there, just the little clip. So once you push it off, you can get it out quite easily. So it opens up the exposure to the rest of the PlayStation, but it's totally safe. And Sony have actually allowed the PlayStation to be designed in this way to take this off nice and easily. So you do just have to push it and you get the externals. So putting the dark plates back on would really, really simply just do the exact opposite. So you will line up the clips and then just push it into place. And you'll hear quite a noisy click and you definitely know that it's in place and very, very secured do the exact same on the opposite side and you are pretty much ready to go. Now, one thing that has surprised me is the fact that this is actually so simple that Sony haven't done something similar. So what we're gonna do now is tackle the glossy black section. Uh, I don't think it looks that great now. When you've got the matte section, it does look a little bit like dark, blue compared to the matte black finish. Um, obviously we don't really see that when it's white. So gave it clean down to make sure that everything was as clean as possible. So obviously put in the sticker on, I don't want to scratch it underneath for potential resale in the future, but the sticker was 
fairly easy to put on once you've got it lined up. I just took some time to make sure that this was right. Obviously, I don't want to be really taking this off and then putting it back on and potentially getting it quite shabby because I think it was about $15. So I really don't want to mess this up. So I definitely took some time to make sure that everything was aligned with the eject button, the power button, and then the USB-A and USB-C at the front. But I think it took me roughly two minutes, so it doesn't really take that much time. Uh, I did kind of get one slight bubble at one stage, but I was able to rectify that quite quickly. But the finish of it, I was actually really surprised at. The actual detailing of the sticker was pretty good, but the actual thickness of it was really quite nice, and it definitely felt like a premium finish and really did make the console look much, much better. So overall, what do I think to the Dart Place and would I recommend them to you? Now, from my personal experience, I've had it now for about a week. And honestly, I think the PS5 looks so much better in matte black. It looks meaner, it looks sleeker, and it definitely looks cooler. In terms of the price, yes, these D brand exclusives are very expensive and now quite hard to get your hands on. But I really do think you are getting what you pay for when it comes to the fit, finish and the detail that D brand have added onto this. I really don't think that Sony potentially could even do a better job with the way they've been able to get the little inscriptions on the plates is just as good as Sony did. So in terms of other companies, I don't think I've seen these inscriptions. I think they're just pretty plain plates, which for most people is probably gonna be okay, but if you're wanting to customize your PS5, you spent a lot of money on your PS5, you want it to look the best it can, I do think dbrand is definitely the company that have done this the best. Now, do I think that Sony are probably gonna bring out some in the future? Yes. Now, the only negative that I would probably say about the matte black finish is just with fingerprints. Anything which is matte black definitely brings up fingerprints. You have to keep it quite clean, but once you do, I think it definitely looks better than the Oreo finish. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. If you liked this video and want to know more about the PS5 and my experience of it since launch back in November, then let me know. But overall, would I recommend the dark plates? Absolutely. If you're a PS5 fan, if you love your Sony PlayStation, I'd absolutely recommend this upgrade. And it is definitely an upgrade. I think it looks the coolest PS5 out there at the moment. So with that, have a great day, enjoy your PS5, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.